as a pastor, I've had the privilege of seeing uh, a lot of people grow in faith with Christ. I've, I've had the privilege of seeing a lot of people who have come from very far from God come uh, make great strides and come near to him, right? And so this is really the most rewarding, seeing people come who are far from Christ and, and give their life to him and follow him and sort of make strides and changes in their life and, and get baptized. And, and looking back years later and saying, man, I remember when that guy was like addicted to crack. And now He's got a job, he's got a family, he's, he's moving forward in his relationship with Christ. He's, he's serving, he's, he's doing things that he never thought were, were possible. At the same time, there are some frustrations as a pastor, okay? For every person who gives their life to Christ and sort of radically makes transformation and strides, there are, and that's not an exact stat, okay? There are other people who will never even consider the possibility of Christ. There are people who have either hardened their heart so much that they won't hear or won't see the example or, or the, the relationship or the um, testimony of their friends, or, or maybe they've just had such bad experiences with the church at some point in their lives where they're completely shut off. They've built walls, and they won't let anybody in, and it doesn't matter how much the church does. It doesn't matter how much good the church does or how many um, inroads their friends may build with them. They're just they're shut off. They're, they're never going to consider Christ as a reality. The more sad thing for me is that there are a lot of people who attend church. There are a lot of people who follow Christ, but they don't necessarily let their lives reflect that. So there are a lot of people who are content to just go to church, um, maybe even regularly. Maybe they participate in, in certain things, but they're not willing to, to really pursue Christ. They're not willing to follow Christ. And I think that's really uh, the most sad thing because you see a lot of Christians living at sort of this um, lower level when I believe that God is calling us to a fullness of life that is so much more fulfilling, so much higher, and has so much potential. And so when you see somebody sort of um, underperforming or really robbing themselves of some of the gifts that Christ has, it's disheartening. 